Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This will be my second video. Um, so I've been thinking about some ideas and I hope you sort of like my second video. So this video is my how I've come out video. So how I've come out being gay. Um, and so I've got some questions and I'm going to answer them for you. Right. So when did I come out? I came out when I was about 13, 13, 14. I was in year eight at the time. Um, it was, I had sort of like mixed emotions about it. Like I didn't know what was going on and it was just a bit all over the place really and like my mind wasn't there so I was just sort of thinking what's this kind of feeling I'm you know, I'm going for um yeah that's yeah when I was in year eight that's when I came out um who was the first person I told the first person I told was my mum um <laughs> So, as everyone, whoever knows me, I used to do dance. So, after dance one night, I came home and I came home crying. And my mum went, what, what, Jack, like, what's wrong, why are you crying? I think I was like, because I think I'm gay. And um, she looked at me and went, I do that anyway. I was like... Oh, okay. And <laughs> she's like, I knew that like for ages. Like I was just waiting for you to find out for yourself. So my mum was pretty cool about it. And then she's like, Oh, I want to text your brother and sister and just let them know. Is that all right? I was like, Yeah, go ahead. I'm going to bed now. <laughs> so it's a book. It was, it was a funny one. How did my family take it? My brother and my sister. They were like, Yeah, nice one. Cool. Um. I was more nervous telling my grandparents and my dad. Um, I'm really close to both sets of grandparents, but I love them both so equally. Um, but I was really happy. They're like, oh yeah, that's cool. Like, you know, oh, that's really nice and everything. <laughs> and then um, my dad, I, me and my dad has an odd relationship uh, that I think of. It's got better throughout the years. Um, but yeah, I was really nervous telling him. Because I thought, oh, he doesn't... Like, he wouldn't maybe understand. He may see me another way. Like, loads of questions going through my head. Like, he won't want to talk to me anymore. He won't want to see me. Like, everything, really. So, but yeah, I'm glad, like, all my family was like, oh, my God, that that's amazing. Like just <laughs> the awkward bit <laughs> of like telling my family so the next question is how did your friends take take it when I told them so throughout the whole of my high school years um I had been bullied since the third day uh, sorry not third day third week of school just for being me like hanging around with all the girls nothing new like they're, they're my closest friends going um anyone who'll tell you I've always made better friends with girls than I have boys I've got a few boy mates now that I'm very lucky and to have in my life um and I love them I, lo I love all my friends equally. When I was in year eight, I turned around and told my best friend, Gabby and Ellie. And, um, and then I told a few other girls and the girls like all came together and like, they were talking about me. And then I walked over one lunch, I was like, oh, hi, like, what are you talking about? They were like, we're gonna protect you because the boys, they were so horrible. Um, but throughout the years of me being in high school, the boys 
me and the boys have a different relationship now. Like we we call cool, like we we'll see each other now. We'll be like, "You're right. How how is everything?" Like completely fine. Like we have laughs and everything. Like I'd definitely say year ten and year eleven that was a good year for me. They were the best two years because. I got along with everyone, everyone got along with me. I'm not saying like it's all a bit weird, but it's it's very good for how um it all came out. Um and it was the best um it was the best feeling when I told my friends because I was like they can help me through this. Like I I felt like I wasn't alone, even though I had my family, but I wanted my friends. Because sometimes talking to your family is a bit harder than talking to your friends. Your friends are a little bit more chilled, relaxed, and everything. And your family's like intense, like you, they want to tell you everything, but <laughs> it's, it's hard to explain. <laughs> okay, <laughs> how did I feel about coming out? I was really nervous. I was so nervous that the before I told my mum I cried to sleep because I was like I don't know what this feeling is I feel like I'm not myself or who other people want me to be but when I truly found myself I was like this is actually who I am and then when I started to read more about the gay community and it was amazing, like, I was hearing, like, other people's stories, like, I had my other friends who didn't even go to the same school as me, like, they came out gay before me, and I was like, they gave me the best advice and everything, like, I couldn't thank them enough for their stories and for helping me, because now I feel like, now that they've helped me, I can help other people that's come out, like, I'm not going to say names because that's not me, but... Um, I helped a good mate of mine a good few months ago come out. He asked me about how I came out and I told him and he, he it gave him the confidence to come out and it was absolutely amazing for me for someone to hear say to me going thank you so much for telling me your story because it's given me the confidence to come out in the community. I've never actually for me, as a person that's not confident, like, not got confidence, I, for me, I, this is bringing my confidence up by doing these videos, because I'm like, oh, I don't know how people can feel about these videos, but my confidence is getting it, but from someone saying that to me, that's built up my confidence, and I... I am so thankful for everyone that's helped me, cheered me, like, been in my corner since the day we met, and I literally could not thank anyone enough for my story, because everyone that was a part of my story, I'm very thankful for. Um, but the gay community is amazing. We support everyone. Um, I talk to, I have a gay group chat with my friends. Uh, they've all, some of them have got partners, some of them haven't, and we just have a laugh. It's the best going because there's nothing better than like us like having a little talk and find this way we can add other people. We can find out their stories and then we can be like, that's how we came out. Or, yeah, that's how I came out, and just like compare stories and like be like, we are there for one another, or if mm. someone needs help, we're there. It's it's a very good story to hear personally. I think um, I, it I couldn't do it without anyone's support. Everyone's support means so much to me, and I am truly, truly thankful. But if you have any other questions, or if you'd like me to give any advice, uh, comment down below. Or if you don't feel like commenting down below with any questions, you can either message me 
on my Instagram, whiteoverturnjack underscore. But thank you guys for tuning in and also like, subscribe and give me a comment down below if, if you want any other videos or what kind of videos you want me to do. Bye.